Oh, did you see that? It spat on us. Ho ho! Meanwood Valley Urban Farm, they've just celebrated their 40th anniversary here in Leeds and they've welcomed a number of famous faces throughout the years, but today they're hosting us. Welcome to Leeds Student Television. So the farm, which is a charity, was um, set up in 1980 and it was particularly set up by a group of local residents who wanted to protect this piece of land, but also to... Um, have it as a space that people who wouldn't have the chance to experience the natural environment could come and do that here. And Adam, how big is the farm? The farm's about 26 or 27 acres. 27 acres, so pretty big for a farm that's just a stone's throw away from the city centre that you can just see behind me. And if I turn this way, just through the trees, you can almost make out the Parkinson building. Now here in the market garden, Luke is uh, taking some of his students around. Uh, Luke is one of the gardeners here, so let's see if he needs any help. Steve has worked all the way from the end to here, so he's, he's doing a, a sterling job. So yeah, grab, get stuck in. Perfect. Well, it's all weather work here on the farm. You can just hear the rain in the polytunnel now. Luke, how can people get involved? How can students come out and help if they feel like it? So uh, basically watch this space because this year we're trying to get a, a volunteer program going which will be a way of uh, the wider community getting involved and helping grow, grow really tasty, um, sustainable vegetables. So what's this down here? This is a bit like Rocket, it's called Mizuna, it's an oriental green. Okay, can I try some? Yeah. Just mm. a plate with some salad leaf. Yeah, quite oriental, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, here we've got some purple sprouting broccoli. Yeah. So it's uh, sh sort of smaller. Yeah. Um, uh, broccoli shoots. Really nice. Really tasty. We just snip below where the, the shoot is. It can take quite a lot. Okay. They are hungry, these sheep. <laughs> They've seen we're coming. They just have a little bit of brewer's grains um, and some hay because we haven't got much grass. Say we're going uphill, Amy. We're going uphill, that's why you can push it. <laughs> <laughs> why, are the, why are the sheep so hungry? Well, the sheep um, are all in lamb at the minute. Okay. The tub has been in, the yeah. ram, um, and so they're due to lamb at the end of March, beginning of April. When did the ram go in? So we put him in um, at the end of October. End of October, and how yeah. long is he in the pen for? He was in there for just over a month. And get some more pregnant in a Fing month. Fingers crossed. Wow. <laughs> busy, <laughs> busy ram, huh? Their legs are <laughs> rather stumpy. They look quite funny. Miniature cows, they are. Babies, perhaps. Don't know. They are hungry, though. You can hear them mooing. Moo! We're ready to feed the pigs. Wow, they've come out from their sleep to come say hi. I bet you didn't expect that alpacas would be living a mile and a half away from university. Oh no, but they are. Here they are, and we're about to feed them. So one final feed for the goats then. This is, um, well, what is it? Bro broccoli stem, the thick end of the okay. bit of broccoli. Yeah. The, the top I gave to the, the small animals. Um, and then this was the big, thick stem that I've just chopped up.
Well, the goats seem very happy behind us because they're not there. They're in their little shed having their nuts and hay or straw. Hay. Hay, not straw. <laughs> Amy, thank you very much for showing us around the farm today. You're welcome. Straw for sleeping, hay for eating. That's right. Straw for sleeping, hay for eating. Straw for sleeping, hay for eating. <laughs> Got to try and remember it. I keep getting it wrong. <laughs>